Can you explain to me what I'm doing? What this device is about back here that you refer to as the Faraday? Yeah, Faraday cage. Faraday cage? Um, easy. We're going to put these over ourselves and get really warm. No. Um, okay, we've got aluminum mesh and mylar, which eventually we'll look on the other side. That's just what this is over. Eventually I'm going to cover these as well with uh, mylar. Which What's is the just, mylar do? Mylar will help bring down the, um, it'll basically act as a, an EMF blocker. Mine's dead. Mine's dead. Here, not mine. Here's my Blackberry. Thank from you. AT and T. Thank you. Bye. How many friends do you have on? How many bars did you have before you went in? Five. Is there anything you want taken to the car? Mm -mm. There's I still got four. my bag and laptop. Okay, you go with that. I have two bars now. What's up? How long would she technically have to stay in here for her to stop? I don't know. Um, see, here's the thing. The, the EM, I couldn't find a lot of research on it. You know, there is the World Health Organization that's done some research, but not a lot. That, you know, and, and then it's more of exposure limits, you know? Really? This so it could take like 30 minutes or it could take five hours? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, but I think relatively, I mean, my best estimate with all this stuff is soon, yeah. with other people, yeah. about half an hour outside from the source. Really? Yeah. Um, there's a hole in the top. Uh, oh, right. Good. Be careful with this and uh, got a hole on the side now. <laughs> right here. Up here? Okay. It's okay, it's and making contact. Oh, over, yeah. over. Here? Oh, okay. That's better. Yeah, Josh knows it's notable. I know, I know. How is it in there, Teddy? Oh, it's nice. How many bars do you have? I have... None. Seven. I don't Here. have any. Okay, you guys just still right. hold it by that. Okay, now... It Ryan. says searching for network. Right there. Uh, Heather, how do you feel? I still feel the same. Well, it might be uh, something that takes a little bit to dissipate. Mm -hmm. So we got to stay here for five hours. Are you cool with that? I don't have any service though. <laughs> we well, can't call for help. Can't help. Oh, you I am now doing dead time in the Faraday cage to see if the heaviness in my head goes away from the, I guess you could say, EMF. I remember setting up HQ and we set up HQ in the basement. And I remember about 10, 15 minutes after just being in the basement for a while, I constantly felt a very, like, heavy pressure on my head. And I remember it being very, very annoying. And I would go upstairs and it would go away. And then, like, 30 minutes later, I'd come downstairs in the basement and I'd still feel that heavy pressure on my head. Josh built this crazy contraption that looked like an aluminum spaceship of some sort. And it called the Faraday cage. And basically, if you're in this cage, um, 
you would, all that pressure would go away and you kind of would block the EMF, you know, coming from somewhere on the basement, causing all that pressure. So I remember for dead time, Katrina was sitting in the chair in the basement and I was placed in the Faraday cage. And I remember it being very, very stuffy in there. And um, I had a cell phone with me and it would lose signal. And I had no service. I remember there being some a few holes in the cage you guys were trying to patch, and as you guys would patch the holes, I would get less and less, um, I'd feel the pressure less and less. So while I was in the Faraday cage, Katrina was sitting in a chair in the basement, right beside me pretty much, and she kept getting headaches on and off, and she kept feeling the pressure on her head. So she was kind of like the controller in that while I was in the Faraday cage and everything for me was going away. So eventually after being in the Faraday cage, I know I was in there for about 30 minutes to an hour, um, like my headache went away and the pressure went down. So it, it worked. 